Brayden Otten is no stranger to hospitals. About eight hours after his birth, his parents learned his heart wasn't normal. It only uh, forms a uh, small uh, ventricle on the left side of the heart or uh, no ventricle at all. In Brayden's case, it was really small. From that moment, Brayden's life went down a different path, one with several surgeries, but still full of fun, baseball, fishing, and love from his furry family members. He's been really strong, making sure that he is as normal as any other kid out there. Recently, his cardiologist noticed some changes, and experts saw this as a chance to create a new future for Brayden. Basically do a uh, revision of his initial uh, open heart surgeries and create two ventricles where there used to be only one. They explained it to the 12 year old in a language he knows well, gaming, taking his video game talent and amplifying it to put him and his heart at the center using virtual reality. It was amazing. We just handed it to him and all of a sudden he just like put it on, knew exactly what to do and was in the space. Dr. David Morales took Brayden inside his own heart. This video shows him detailing every step of the upcoming procedure as Brayden explores the inner workings of his ticker. It breaks it down. It takes away sort of all of that technical jargon. Dr. Morales was saying, OK, so this is where I'm going to make this cut. Brayden, a natural in this virtual space. That was pretty cool. It's a full circle moment for Dr. Ryan Moore, who has known Braden since birth and is spearheading this technology. So as a, you know, someone who grew up with video games and as a gamer, you know, it, it means a lot to me when I was talking to Braden's parents that after that experience, that now he wants to become a doctor who, you know, develops games to help save kids. And his family actually tells me there was a noticeable shift in Braden after that virtual reality experience that he was more confident and at ease with that upcoming surgery. Doctors say that's one of many benefits for these younger patients. Molly Lair, WLWT News 5.